Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three amazing healthy recipes for you. Healthy but delicious, so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box at the top will be my recipe website, that is where you will find all of today's recipes as well as nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized, customized to you macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, as well as my free Facebook group. Come join us. They're all down in the description box. So let's start this week's meal prep. So for my breakfast this week, I am making cherry almond chia pudding. I haven't had chia pudding in so long, and this will be really easy because it's cold, it's make ahead, it'll be easy and convenient for the week. So let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need fresh cherries. You could probably use frozen cherries, just thaw them. I am going to have to remove the pit out of these cherries, but I really like fresh cherries because we're making a compote. You're also going to need lemon juice, Non-fat milk of your choice, I'm using Fairlife because it has lots of protein. Sugar-free maple syrup, sweetener of your choice. This is allulose, that is what I use now as my sweetener alternative. It is naturally derived from figs and raisins. It's amazing, it's delicious, tastes just like sugar and you can buy it right off of Amazon. I will link it down below for you. I found the cheapest price and the best brand. So it'll be in the description box. Cornstarch, almond extract, and of course, chia seeds. So I went ahead and halved my cherries, pitted them. Here's the aftermath. I have cherry colored fingers, but this is two cups total. And then we're going to put together the chia pudding portion first, and then we'll get that into the fridge and make the cherry compote. So in a bowl, you're going to add two cups of milk of your choice, one tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup, a dash of almond extract, and then six tablespoons of chia seeds. And we're just going to whisk this together until mixed. We're going to cover our chia pudding with some saran wrap and put it into the fridge. You do want to mix it again midway through as it's thickening to make sure there's no chia seeds settled on the bottom. Now that our chia pudding's in the fridge, let's make the compote. So you're going to need a saucepan. We're going to add our cherries. You're going to add three tablespoons of allulose. One and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. Six tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and then we're going to add in just a little bit of almond extract. We're going to cook our compote over medium heat for about five to eight minutes. We want it soft in a syrup to form. So here's our compote. This looks so good. I'm just going to set this aside. The chia pudding does need to stay in the fridge for a couple of hours to set. So once it's set, we'll stir in our compote and I'll show you the completed breakfast. Three hours later. So I just pulled the chia pudding out of the fridge. It's about 70% set. So I'm going to mix in the cherry compote. Just stir that right into that chia pudding. And then I'm going to put some more saran wrap on top and throw it back into the fridge. And it'll completely set up and we'll be ready for cherry almond chia pudding for breakfast. So here is what it looks like. I'll put serving size, points, calories, all of the information here on the screen for you. So for my lunch this week, I'm making teriyaki chicken stir fry casserole. I'm actually really excited for this. Lots of veggies, lots of protein. Let me show you what you'll need. I'm going to be using Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar Added Teriyaki. You'll need pineapple tidbits, rice, sesame seeds, stir fry vegetables, and then you can use chicken breast, chicken thigh. I'm gonna do ground chicken, just some type of chicken for the protein. So I'm going to add my, I added my vegetables to my Pampered Chef steamer basket. Who remembers this thing? I actually really, really love this. I'm going to throw this in the microwave and get these vegetables cooked. 
I have my rice cooking in my Dash rice cooker. I love this thing. It makes perfect rice. Every time I threw my rice in, threw my water in, you turn it on. It's so easy. I got it on Amazon. I will link it for you. And then I'm going to go ahead and brown up my pound of ground chicken. So to put together our chicken teriyaki casserole, I added my ground chicken to a bowl. I have my cooked vegetables. I'm going to add those. My cooked rice. I'm going to add most of my teriyaki sauce. I'm just going to reserve a little bit to drizzle on top. And then we're going to mix this all together. You want to make sure everything gets coated in that teriyaki sauce. My 9 by 13 baking dish, I'm going to spray it with a nonstick cooking spray. And then to my baking dish, I'm adding all of my casserole mixture. Just spread that evenly into the bottom. Our casserole is going into a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. So I just pulled out the casserole. I'm going to drizzle the remaining teriyaki sauce right on top and then sprinkle on the sesame seeds. And here is the casserole. This actually looks amazing. It smells really good. Look how thick that is. Packed with protein, vegetables, rice for carbohydrates. I will go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for you. So for a sweet treat, a snack this week, I'm making no-bake protein cookies. These are great because you don't have to use an oven. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need vanilla extract, rolled oats, protein powder of your choice. I love Clean Simple Eats, as you know. It's amazing. It's 100% grass-fed protein, 100 calories, 20 grams of protein. It's amazing in shakes, protein pudding, ninja ice cream, literally everything. Mix it into yogurt. I also like to bake with it. I do have a discount for Clean Simple Eats. I will link it down below for you. You're going to need milk of your choice. I'm using sugar-free maple syrup, cocoa powder, peanut butter, nutmeg, cinnamon, and some salt. So the first thing we're going to do is add two cups of rolled oats to a bowl. And then the recipe calls for three tablespoons of protein powder, which is a little, which is just a heaping scoop of the Clean Simple Eats. And then we're just going to mix that all together. And then to a saucepan, we're adding one half of a cup of peanut butter. Now for the peanut butter, you could sub PB2, just mix it with water, but I'm just going to use regular peanut butter. And then I'm doing a quarter cup of sugar-free maple syrup and half of a cup of milk, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then cinnamon, nutmeg, and salt. Stir that all together, and we're going to pop it on the stove over medium heat. And then we're going to put chocolate peanut butter mixture into our rolled oat mixture. And then we're going to stir that into the rolled oats. And then we're looking for about 12 cookies. So I'm going to use my cookie scoop and we're just going to plunk them on a baking sheet lined with parchment. If I get more cookies, that's fine. If I get less cookies, that's fine. I just want them to be as uniform as possible just for the points and the calories. So there's 12. I have quite a bit of the cookie mix left. So I'm just going to kind of scoop it on top and then we'll just flatten these out a little bit. I'm going to spray my hand with just a little bit of nonstick cooking spray and I'm just going to flatten out our protein cookies. And then I'm going to pop them in the fridge and allow them to firm up. And here are the no-bake protein cookies. I just tried a little piece of one. They taste amazing. They taste just like no-bake cookies, but they've got protein and just healthier ingredients overall. So I will go, again, it makes 12 cookies. I'll put all of the information here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing breakfast, lunch, a sweet treat. I am excited to have these this entire week by meal prepping. It just helps set me up for a successful week. I have done it since day one of my 140 pound weight loss. In the description box right below the video, website where you will find all of today's recipes, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday. Here's to an amazing, successful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.